Here we have Cardano, Carderpio uh, versus uh, the dollar symbol ADA. And we are going to be looking at a general overview of this one. So first and foremost, starting off with the daily right here. This is still looking pretty damn good for all intents and purposes. And I would be looking for higher lows somewhere right around about 265 to 266 or so. Anywhere down around there, I would look for a bit of a bouncy bounce. And I would be looking for presumably something like this if it is going to end up being bullish. A reaccumulation formation known as an ascending triangle, which does have a measured move all the way up towards actually I'm curious if this one still fits the bill yeah it does um all the way up towards about two uh, sorry not two but 330 in this case 330 um and, and probably continuation more over time now with that said short-term time frames are a little bit weaker right now short-term time frames do suggest the same uh the same of this uh in the sense that I would be looking for a bit of short-term downside from its current region looking at hourly as well same sort of thing going on right here hidden bearish divergence on that last high and I would be looking for this one to see a bit of volatility expansion as you can see on BBWP over here very likely to the downside but again I would look at that I would look that as an opportunity on first pass that also means Means below this level below about 265 on a daily would invalidate this idea meaning that is no longer well relevant uh, but for right now any sort of a higher low uh, around 265 would plot the next drive of hidden bullish evidence right here and I'd imagine that does precipitate the next breakout to that uh, 330 level and very likely beyond uh, I imagine 350 would certainly not be out of the question after that by the way daily BBWP tells a story in this one trending down the whole way through throughout this consolidation over the last um, couple weeks here actually and this is very interesting to follow as well because because Cardano was one of the first movers out of this last major base that we saw from the May dumps, right? So it was one of the strong ones. And this one moved alongside Solana, alongside... Um well, alongside Solana <laughs> and, and, and a few other ones, you know, first and foremost, making new ultimize eyes and, and, you know, a few other ones as well. Um, but uh, now we're seeing a bit of a consolidation right here, which is to be expected. So I, I would be looking for this one to rest while the next sort of tier of strongest coins make their move. And we see that kind of with Bitcoin right now. Anyways, looking at uh, momentum oscillators over here, I'm just curious uh, if they kind of fit the general narrative of what I'm saying right now. Hourly um, would be pointed downwards as long as we're below about 282. We see full hours going to be pointed downwards as long as we're below about 286. And uh, 12 hours is going to be down as long as below about 287 and daily is going to be down as long as below about three bucks. So again, at best, uh, I'd be looking for a sideways consolidation with a bit of downside implied right here. And at worst, I'd be looking for a closure below about 265. And that's where problems do start to occur. Uh, but for right now, still good. Just I'd be looking for it to trade a little bit more sideways right here with an upside resolution probably implied maybe like October uh, early in that portion right there. Hopefully that was helpful. There you go.